you ever had issues with your cable management under your desk or your tables? Well, today we're taking a look at something that can actually help you with that. This is called under the desk cable management trays. This is actually a two pack with this guys, which is actually quite cool. Inside here will be a bunch of pieces, two of those trays. Each of those trays is about five inches tall, five inches wide, about 16 inches long. Uh, you'll get six uh, cable ties, uh, a couple cable cords, clips, and I'll show you guys those, a roll of adhesive tape, uh, double stick tape, by the way, uh, eight screws, and a couple one-slot cable clips also. Now, if you're using the screws, you'll be able to hold about 11 pounds of weight in each one of these trays. If you use the double-sided tape, you're going to get about four pounds, which is pretty fine for just cables or a power strip. Uh, with that, now we're going to pull out some stuff. We're going to kind of show you guys. This is your big row of double stick tape, which is probably what I will test this out with. Uh, you then get the Velcro uh, Velcro ties right here to tie up your wire management. You then are greeted with this little bag over here. This little bag is kind of cool because you get some cable management clips. Now, these are a sticky, three adhesive sticky type. You'll stick it to your desk and you'll allow your wires or your RC, uh, your USB-C cables or mouse cables to come through this to help tidy up that. You also get two of these one slot uh, pieces also. Now, this is also where you'll be greeted with the eight uh, three quarters of an inch screw. So they're about that tall. Now, to use these screws, you're going to want to make sure that you have a desk that is acceptable to that. Uh, make sure your desk is over an inch and a half thick. Uh, make sure it's not made of a hollow shell, because if it's a hollow shell, it's not going to hold uh, with that. If you have a solid wood desk, guys, this will work perfect. If you have a metal desk, you may need to pre-tap those holes, and those will work also with that. Just remember, your users, uh, however you're using it, is the way it's going to work. Now. You then have two of the trays. I'm just going to pull one of these out. This is kind of cool the way this works. So this is your tray. Now to use this tray, you need to figure out how you want to hang it and how you want to use it. So if you're using the double stick tape, you'll probably be using this piece right here to stick it up to the top of your actual desk. Uh, this will allow for cables and plugs to come through. Uh, you have a nice round openings right here and then can feed through and to hide into this if you have, let's say, like a power strip uh, set in here. You also have holes on the bottoms if you need that also. Guys, if you don't have power strips, this is just good to organize all your cables up into a tray so they're off the ground, which is kind of cool. You have two of these guys, nice and large. Now make sure that you have the space for these. Now, when I test fit these, I'm going to actually do it on uh, probably my kitchen table for right now. Unfortunately, the desk I'm using right now has too many uh, camera mounts and, you know, lighting pieces. So I don't have the space to put that right now. Uh, but you get two of these. Now, like I said, you have these mounts right here. And here's your top piece right here. Uh, your three screw holes for each one. Uh, they do give you eight screws in case you ruin one. But that's the way it goes. So you have the big open hole. You get the slots on the bottom for all your wire management. So you got two of these pieces. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some double stick tape. We're going to tape this up. We're going to test it out on the kitchen table. I'll be right back. See you guys in a second. Okay, before we show you guys under that piece, we're going to show you guys this right here. This is your double stick tape. Of course, you'll have a little peely side and a sticky side. Uh, nice and stretchy if you need and actually really sticky, which is quite cool. I did take a nice strip right here, about a 16-inch strip. They give you enough for two strips for this. You'll play this on, and then you'll get under there, and you'll pull this little plastic cover off the top, and you'll set it in place. Now, you put some pressure on there, and then you'll want to let this sit for at least an hour or two, or probably a little more if you're using the double stick tape uh, for a reason. Uh, when doing that, guys, letting it stick before using it will actually give you a lot of time to let it adhere to the surface that you are using. Now, you do have a couple ways of doing it and setting it up and adjusting your wires and your wire management, but just make sure that you let it sit. Now, they say about 30 minutes. I'm going to tell you about an hour or so, probably a little more. Just let it sit and wait before you actually start handing the weight on there and hanging stuff on it. So next thing is we're going to switch views again. I'm going to show you guys that. Okay, guys, now that we're under my table where I'm going to take it, I have the tray. Now, you have a couple options. You can do it this way. Or you can turn it around and hide it this way to get you butted up against the edge a little more. Your decision with that. 
Now, of course, you need, need to take off, like I said, that sticky piece of the tape that's on top of this actual uh, double stick tape, just like that. And then you are good to go. Now, you'll find the position you want it, and you will actually set it up, and then you will sit it, and you'll push it up there. Now, of course, once it's like that, you have your management cable set up there, and you can hide your cables through both sides. It has all the openings with that for that. Now, again, let it sit for 30 minutes before you start using this and start going to town with it. That way you know it's adhered really good. But I'm telling you right now, that's actually stuck really good. I'm trying to pry that right now, and it's really, really stuck. So, guys, give me a second. Let me grab a uh, cable management or some cables to kind of show you guys what you would throw in there and how you would do it. Okay, now that it's been like 30 minutes, you guys see I have this little extension cord. We're just going to use this as demonstration purposes only. You will grab this cable. You will either stick it in through this side or through this side, and then you will snake it to where you want to actually keep that put up. That's the cool part. Now, if you're using multiple cables, of course, you guys can always sneak cables through, plug it in up here, however you want, however you need. You have multiple options all the way through. Of course, you may need to kind of fit your hands in there. I did this backwards on purpose because it hides a little bit better. Uh, and that's how you'll snake your cable to keep it all up in there. Uh, let's just say you want a power bar in there. That'll do that. If you want just the regular cables, you have all the holes. They're actually nice and soft. They're not sharp. Uh, if they were sharp, guys, you'd want to be a little ca ca careful, but they are nice and soft, so I don't see no problems with cable uh, cable snags or anything. You should be good there. Uh, multiple purpose, very easy. If you guys need cable management, maybe this is the piece for you. I want to thank you for checking this video out. Hope you guys have a great one.